I feel like I am not even alive right now. I don't feel like this is real life. It has been a very long night, very long two days, and I'm here today to continue this fucking marathon of Taylor Swift and listen and watch the new music video for Antihero. I've already filmed and edited my reaction to the Midnight's album, which should be out soon. Before you see this, I spent all fucking night trying to get that video done and I keep on just running into issues with copyright. I slept for a little bit, but you know, we're back with a little bit of makeup feeling okay. I hope you guys appreciate my dedication. I did listen to the 3am bonus tracks um, on my own time. I didn't film my like l my reaction and thoughts to that just because it just was it was a lot and I had already been finished editing my video to just the original album for Midnight's. I did listen to those extra songs and they're phenomenal. Love Paris. That, but I did just kind of keep that for myself um, and listen and enjoy that for myself. Today we're gonna listen and watch this music video. We have lots of videos to come after this because this is gonna be a visual album. So I'm very excited to see what's to come and what this looks like. Let's just get started, let's get into it. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. I really appreciate it, it's, it's been a lot. And I would love for you to join me on this fucking journey that we've been on. Sorry, I had to stop recording for a little bit because both my batteries were dead. So we're back. A little bit later so I did eat I am also feeling more tired because I really haven't slept that much so if I'm not as high energy if I'm not as enthusiastic and as expressive as usual that is why it's been a very long two days let's get into it let's listen and react to the anti-hero music video together I've seen like things here and there I've tried to stay away it's been a lot and so I've been trying to kind of like not getting spoilers so yes let's get into it oh my gosh i'm so fucking tired i feel like i'm not even making sense or words right now i feel like i can't really think properly <laughs> First of all, it's real and directed by Taylor Swift. Second of all, her beauty is so striking. Wow. So, so that's like literal. You can go with some cat ears. Cat ears. It's like a, a nod to 22. God, this looks this looks so beautiful. Like the cinematography just already it looks so beautiful. Oh. Oh my god, did you see the second one in the back? I should not be right there! <laughs> oh my god! Why is this literally everything already? It's actually such a sad thing to say that you're the problem and she's over here saying it like it's a joke. Like such a Taylor Taylor thing to do. And they're just drinking shots? What? I will we'll betray you. Oh. Oh, this is so cool looking like that napkin. Well, it's not a napkin. It's napkin for, it's napkin for her because she's giant, but it's uh, a tablecloth for them because they're small. Like the the effects, I don't know what that's called. The, what is that called? That whole effect is so cool. Such a mind fuck. Like kind of Vote for me for everything. Is that to do with politics or like for her, like winning awards? Oh. oh wow. Oh my gosh. I have this dream, my daughter in law kills me for the money. She thinks I left them in the will. Last one and testament. Taylor A. Swift. I bequeath the majority of my assets to the following. <laughs> Meredith Gray Smith, Olivia Benson Swift, and Benjamin Button Smith. <laughs> Swift. The beach house will be converted into a cat sanctuary for the aforementioned. And to my children, I'll leave 13 cents each. <laughs> This is perfection. This is perfection. Taylor Swift perfection. Wrapping up in us from hell. 
And that's supposed to be her when she's old. <laughs> she's old with all these cats. <laughs> I love that for her. Wait, 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 you guys. There's probably a secret encoded message that means something else. Yeah, 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 that's what mom would always do. P.S. There's no secret encoded message that means something else. Love, Taylor. This is a whole fucking like TV show in this music video right now. This reminds me of like Shit's Creek, <laughs> honestly. Shit, come on! Chance. Okay, well why don't you go cry about it at the country club that you name drop mom to get into, Preston? <laughs> and Kimber, you're literally wearing her clothes right now. No, I'm not. That's from the Fearless Tour 2009. <laughs> Kimberly! Kimberly! Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I think she killed her. You've gone too far! <laughs> Kimber was the last one with her! She didn't fall off that balcony! She was pushed! Why is this fucking thing on top? I can't see. I don't even know what to say. I, I need I need to know so much more about this. What did I just watch? I don't even I can't even I can't even comprehend what I just watched. What the fuck did I just watch? Oh my god. This is a visual album. We're gonna get so many more music videos. Okay, wait, so is it gonna be like a movie throughout the music videos? I kind of thought that might be a thing. Wait, so maybe this is part one and maybe throughout the rest of the album and the different music videos will kind of understand the story better because I'm very confused. I mean, I kind of get it, but I also, and this feels a little, a little out of my, my brain knowledge. I understand that the song is extremely personal. I understand that it's her and her insecurities about life and how she feels like she is the problem because at the center of all this mess is her. She's the common de denominator through it all, and that is such a shitty fucking feeling. And, and, you know, we obviously saw a lot of that in this music video about her maybe being these two types of people. Maybe that's why there's this kind of, like, rocker party girl who's drinking shots all the time, and then there's this girl that's more of a songwriter. So maybe that's kind of where the two um, versions of her come in. But I'm confused about the last giant version of herself. I mean, we see her stuff on the scale that says fat, which is so, so sad. You know, she has the kind of party version of herself saying everybody will betray you and the other version of herself sitting there taking notes. I think that is such a thing that she feels, especially, especially after the deal with her records and Scott. This is just a lot. It was perfect in every single way. And it just was so Taylor. It's so good. I'm very, very happy with this music video. <laughs> if she needs my approval, she has it. She doesn't need my approval, but here you go, Taylor. Everything you do is perfection, so it's okay. And maybe, maybe that pin that she wore that said, vote for me for everything, maybe that comes from her, like, needing validation. Not so much maybe a political statement, more of like, please vote for me to win all the awards because I need this validation have that revenge and have that told you so moment that she loves so much but is also can be a little immature you know you know she talked about in the miss americana documentary how much she thrived off of getting good grades and and being a good person and winning awards and being a good artist and maybe that's kind of where this vote for me pin stems from what that meaning is is like i do not feel confident in self-worth within myself, I get that from external processes and I get that validation from external things, maybe like materialistic things like awards. And that's also kind of what the song is about. It's about that like self-loathing, not feeling good enough. I can come out in the sun and stay in the sun and make it look like I'm this bad bitch confident girl, but then I'm at home and I can't look, I can't look in the mirror because I don't like the way I look. I, I feel insecure about my body. It's so multi, multi-leveled, multi-faceted, beautiful. And 
I can't wait to see what's to come, but I'm gonna end this video here. I love you guys a lot. Please subscribe. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I need to hear. I need to have a conversation with, with some fellow Swifties. I must know what you guys think. So leave them down below. I need to read them and I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys a lot. Bye.